climate is changing rapidly all around us. Greenhouse gas levels are continuing to rise. And in the U.S., all buildings are responsible for nearly 41% of all energy usage and carbon dioxide emissions. Commercial properties are responsible for 20% of that. Making these buildings more energy efficient will have a significant impact on our climate and our economy. A lot of our energy use in the United States is discretionary. We don't have to burn so much energy, but we do it because it's cheap and we're, it's our culture, it's our lifestyle. We need to become much more conscious of our energy use. One of our big challenges is how do we gain energy literacy? How do we understand how much energy we're using at a given time? How do we understand what our carbon footprint is, not only as a society, but as individuals? These are the questions that will shape the 21st century. With new 21st century technologies and a well-trained workforce, buildings can be built or converted into high-performance facilities. In the next few minutes, we'll explore careers for building technicians who make energy efficiency possible in these high-performance buildings. One such building is Sudacha Dai Hall at the University of California, Berkeley. Sudacha Dai Hall is used as a living lab for a lot of energy efficient research. Our building has a building control system. We've had it since 2009. We've added infrastructure and sensors and different components of the system. You think this, this plot might kind of describe what's going on? Yeah, if we can take some trending data and look at what you've been uh, utilizing lately, you can see if you're using too much energy, and uh, we can try and troubleshoot the problem from there. Awesome. That we're having trouble with is indeed closed like it shows on the front end. High performance buildings will not only reduce toxic emissions, make buildings more energy efficient, healthy and comfortable to work and live in, but will also require a workforce of highly skilled technicians who can understand, implement, and maintain these new systems. At La Escuelita Elementary School, Chris and Rebecca adjust various energy systems to maintain a high efficiency rate and the school's grid neutral status. These uh, are the solar photovoltaic panels for the school and these provide electricity. There's so much to learn in the field. You have to understand mechanical systems, electrical systems, computer programming, and uh, control strategies to achieve energy efficiency. And just all of that stuff that I had to learn was, was just really interesting and it was a challenge. And that's what really drew me, knowing that you can really never get bored. <laughs> so. Being a controls technician, I'm out in the field, I'm solving problems, I'm writing programs, I'm meeting a different customer every single day. One thing that I could never complain about in my job is monotony. Educational institutions aren't the only ones going green. AT&T Park is also leading the way in modern, high-performance building technologies and is one of the few LEED Gold certified stadiums in the country. We're always looking at technologies and uh, ways of gathering and assimilating data to help us uh, make good decisions. It's kind of transitioned from turning wrenches and stuff to using laptops to diagnose problems and being able to use programs and software. So um, that's where my generation has to now go backwards and kind of reverse engineer our learning process. Whereas the new generation is, is already geared for where we're headed. Cooling, heating, and lighting systems have drastically changed in the past 20 years. These systems now incorporate advanced electronics to consume less energy. In addition, newer technologies use sophisticated sensors and computer networking programs to monitor and adjust building systems and energy usage. These new technologies are called building automation systems and they control, monitor, troubleshoot, and collect data on the building's performance. The more sensors we have in a building to register the airflow and the temperatures, the more we can see how the building is performing. That all saves on resources, power, electricity, gas, and fuel. Although automation might imply that a technician can set it and forget it, this is hardly the case. Well-trained individuals ensure optimal performance. The fact that it's a job where you have to use your mind, that you are hands-on in the system, you know, that you have the opportunity to write software, troubleshoot communication systems, 
deal with user interfaces. You get this huge, well-rounded experience on the job. There's huge opportunity in this field. We're going to see a lot more work on energy efficiency in buildings, and what will increase that opportunity is increasing the skill sets of those building technicians. By doing a good job in, in the building, we are having a direct impact on the future of the planet, as well as earning a, a good income. The base salary starts around 40 to 50 K, and within a few years, one can easily obtain six figures and, and, and above. In the next probably 10 or 15 years, as the baby boomers start to retire out of our industry, there is a huge void coming, and we need to educate a generation into these trades. The BEST Center is dedicated to a cleaner, healthier future and supports community college building performance programs across the United States by offering educational resources to help increase the flow of high-performance building technicians to the field. Career options for building technicians include building automation systems, HVAC technology, building operations, energy management, building commissioning, renewable energy, energy auditors and analysts, Join this effort. Be the future. Be the best. For more information, visit bestctr.org or your local technical or community college.